Ooh, Mike's alive. We are alive. We are here. Uh, hmm. That, I might change that up just a little bit. Sorry, give me a second. Ah, oh, uh, I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. You can see it a bit better. There we go. Uh, yes, I mean, this will this will basically do for now, he says, as he adds, edits it on the fly so that it works. Okay. All right. Hey, everyone. Uh, this is Frank, and I'm here with, uh, I guess I'm going to call you my co-host, Corey, uh, and we're going to do some Inquisitor versus Budget Vader. Is that right? Yeah, let's do this. All right, great. So the first thing we'll need to do is obviously roll a dice to see who goes first. I mean, I still need to shuffle, but we'll do that in a second. Um, odds or evens? Odds. I like my odds. Evens. The odds were against you. I guess somebody must this have time. told them to you or something. Uh, lame hand never, joke. Never, never tell me the odds. <laughs> uh, now, this is a Grand Inquisitor deck. Uh, probably not like the Grand Inquisitor decks you've seen before. I haven't actually played this one yet. Um, this is partially based off a list from an online, um, uh, 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 what's it called? <sighs> you know, when you're playing a series of tournaments, they're all strung together. Is it from a league? It's from a league. Thank you. It's from an online league. Um, I didn't even know there were online leagues for Star Wars. There absolutely is for Americans. No, I think it's worldwide, but it's just generally not like, I don't know, for some reason, and I don't know why, probably because it uses four stable, uh, it's not It's not widely talked about, and I, yeah, it's weird. Wait a it's sec, weird. it's a multiplayer four stable, or is it um, tabletop sim? Uh, it might be tabletop sim. I don't know, I don't care. I think force tables only. Yeah. Whatever. Carabas spell table force table. <laughs> tying up Princess Leia and saying, "Hey, what's up?" Oh, okay, some dining table um quality games there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what I'm gonna have to remember is I'm gonna have to remember that I need to go and. Uh, Switch the focus every time. Um, all right, so uh, I guess we should get into this. It's actually red, green, and not red, blue, um, running Echo Base. A lot of people, and myself included, were very focused on blue. Big butts, grit. However, we'll see how this works because, again, this is very different. Um, it looked like it ran pretty smoothly. It has some tricks. Uh, it's it's basically a red green ramp deck. I'm excited. So am I. Mostly, if I can just move, did pull that away because he is obstructing my shit. I'm just gonna put my deck up there. Actually, okay. something under him, Matt. Uh, how am I looking on this one? Pretty pretty good to be honest. Uh, I think. I can probably, uh, yeah, I think if I face down those two, maybe, run off that. Hmm. Or do I just go tricksy and shuffle back and, yeah, you know what, let's, let's try and do the right thing. I, I am keeping... All right, here we go. And the hand is... Uh, it's actually a lot so, worse. So do we, do we like, line up head-to-head -head with the cameras? Do you know what I mean? Or do we just no. have, like, both have ground on the left and space on the right? Ground on the left, space on the right. All right, cool. It'll just be easier that way, because we're in focus mode anyway. Um, yeah. Hmm. I. This is not... This is not good. This is... Actually, way worse than another hand. Uh, but that's fine. Fanta fantastic. That's what I like to hear. 
Get me that juicy one zero dot. Uh, oh, I don't like putting that down in my row. That's, uh, yeah, that's sure a thing that's happened. Whew, uh, all right, what am I going to do here? Um, I'm going to take the initiative. Oof, all right. In that case, I am going to Death Star Stormtrooper, and I'm going to pass. Yep. This right. card, this card was really important in testing all of the um, one drops because for Vader to tempo, he needs to ping, and he gets mm. so much card advantage by pinging. Yeah, that's so. fair. I have to figure it out. Ugh, what needs to go down? Um, I think it's gonna be you, to be honest. Um, 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 have to read my guy again. All right, cool. That's fine. I do that. That doesn't work. I do that. That's hilarious, but that doesn't work either. Uh, so I guess. That glare's pretty bad. Maybe I'll keep him down here. What is he? He's a 3 1, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he's a 3 1. Yep. Right. Uh, I'm going to play a Super Laser Tech. Um, yeah, sure. Cool. Um, actually, I've got a choice here. I think this is actually the correct choice. I will play cell block guard. Mm -hmm. uh, I will unsurprisingly take the initiative, I think. I'll swing your base for three. Yep. Yeah, 27. I've taken the initiative, so. Yep, uh, I pass. All right, great. I feel like I'm having like a way, 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 way slower start than I was anticipating because I made a mistake of trying to go for the Trixies, uh, which obviously was not the best thing to do. Well, especially mm -hmm. since, you know, I've, I've chosen to not ramp. Mm. <laughs> just decided to go in. Like, that mm. was one of the things about piloting this deck was uh, what I've noticed in mm -hmm. my testing is that you need to choose when uh, when you go ramp route and when you go aggro route. And if you sense the opponent stumbling or that they're playing a ramp game, this deck can go under them because it's got a good win con invader. Yeah. Well, I mean, I also put down the wrong... I definitely put down the wrong uh, resource as well. Which made this way slower than it should be. I guess, again, going back to, like, not having played the deck, it kind of makes a bit more sense. Um, but it's a bit more frustrating. So I think the first thing I will do is I will play my own Silbok Guard. Um, I'll trade off the Silbok Guard with uh, the uh, Death Star Stormtrooper. Yep. Which still puts me in an awkward position. Hmm. It's how many? Six. Six resources. Yeah, not there yet. Uh, I think here I'm going to pass. I am going to play Fifth Brother. <laughs> That's not great for me. <laughs> I will pass. I will uh, use Vader. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ping your super laser tech off and one to your base. Sadness. Uh, yep. Uh, I will... I mean... Take 
the initiative. A swing for three. Yep, down to 23. All right. All right, so you pass? Yep. <sighs> that did not. That was not. Yeah. Not it? Not it. It's not it. That was not hey, you're, you're, you've got your You've got your turn six now. I mean, yes, but... I have an awful lot of stuff on the board, right? But I, I need I to try and figure out how I'm going to do my stuff. Hmm. This is, this is what makes it all real fun. Why is your camera out of focus again? Is my camera out of focus? Yep. Without the droid cam, it's like not... Um, it's very much like whole... a potato. Yeah. You probably just need to like... Oh, now your video is gone. Yeah, I'm fucking with things. Let's swap back. Sorry, I was trying to refocus it. <laughs> and I uh, botched the whole thing. Yeah, that, that clearly worked. <laughs> yeah. Alright, there you go, you're back. I'm back. Uh, maybe if I move these down, it'll be easier to see. Anyway, I can always read it out. Uh, it's a fifth brother, it's a 2 4, and a sublock guard, it's a 3 3. Because mm -hmm. now I'm just trying to figure out like what my smartest play is to. Yeah. To not screw myself too hard, to be honest. Uh, I think. What I'm gonna do, I think, might be. Ah, uh, but do I want to transfer my Inquisitor right now? Choices, making me, making me choices. Yeah, actually, I think I do. All right, let's let's go and use our epic action. All right. Uh. I don't feel good about swing, it, but... I will swing with Cell Block Guard into your base for three. Uh, yep. Hmm. <laughs> so, currently you have untapped a fifth brother. Which has four health. Hmm. Alright, so we're gonna do an overwhelming barrage. Oof. Yep. Uh, we'll do four damage to Fifth Brother to kill it. He is dead. Uh, and we will deal two damage to the Cell Block Guard. One? One? Uh, one damage to the Cell Block Guard. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, I didn't want to have to do this, but now I have to pay two for Force Choke. Oh no, what are you doing? I deal uh, five damage to Inquisitor. Five damage to my poor Inquisitor? Yeah, we'll take you five. Draw a card. Force Choke. Yeah, five damage. I draw a card. Uh, it, it's funny because what I'm going to do is I'm going to Force Throw you. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Um, so I'll make you. I get to. Ch I get to choose, right? Yes, that's correct. Uh, I'm choosing super laser attack, so you can do three to something. Uh... Yeah, we'll kill you. So we'll I, I think I. I don't <laughs> think you can hit face, right? Uh, you know what? Force through can force through hit I've never, face. I've never actually read it. Uh, do damage equal to the size of to a unit. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That's dead. Um, all right, I want to use Vader's ping, and I'm gonna ping uh, Grand Inquisitor for one, putting him to six damage. Did you? He Have you die played... end of turn? Have you played? I force a... choked. 
Oh, right. Yep, yep. Okay. It's great. a dark card, not a unit. Yep, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to swing on your base then for five. I will take five. <laughs> Finally do you some damage. Get in there. All right, oh, 25. Oh, he got in there all right. Yep. Uh, are you claiming? Well, I mean, I just attacked you, so are you claiming? Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I will claim. I don't think you took the one damage from the Vader ping. Well, you didn't say the base, so. Oh, it's. No, it's both. I know, but you have to declare it every single time to remind your opponent. It's, not a, it's not a May, though, is it? It doesn't it's matter. You yeah. have to remind your opponent. Ah, okay. Always, always, always. They should remember. They're not going to remember. Always remind them. All right. Uh, so, ugh, why am I just not getting anything? This is depressing. Because <laughs> I put it in my resource row. All right, cool. Avoided. Ready when you are. All right. Uh, I will mm, pass. Hmm. That never feels good. What have you got planned? That's the question. Hmm. That's a good question. I could do that. That's always special and fun. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Three, five. We're going to play Rook. Oh, here we go. Shield Which token. Comes in with a shield token. <laughs> All right. I'm going to play Ruthless Raider. I'm going to ping the shield off of Rook. Yep. And deal two damage to the base. Absolutely. So what is Ruthless Raider again? You're going to have to remind me of its stats. So he's a four attack, six defense space unit. Um, with when it comes into play and when defeated, deal two damage to a base and a unit. Oh, that's fair then. Um, yeah, I guess I have to. Uh, I'm going to ping my unit for two. And already in. Yep. Uh, I'm going to claim initiative. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Imperial, yes. Mm -mm -mm. It's always fun. I feel like that, that was probably an okay thing to do, to be honest. Uh, I, 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 I nearly put Rook in this deck. It's so good, man. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to play a Snowtrooper Lieutenant. So when played, I'm going to give this Imperial plus 2, plus 0, and a smack your base for 5. Yes, you will. I've got a 20. And your camera's gone again? And my camera just died. What happened? Oh my god. The charger got unplugged. Rot roll. One moment. I'm in the resetting of angles and stuff. The charger got unplugged. Mm -hmm. It's rebooting, it'll take me a sec to reconnect. Yep. I tested out the snow troopers in here. I, I couldn't wait to work in this deck. I like I it. I don't have the, the kind of stick around units that mm. reward it. I like him too. 
like I had uh, the season snow troopers and stuff in here and one of my iterations as well. But it just kind of felt bad. It felt like if you were getting to that late game without any kind of lead, like a leader lead or something, it was like, you know, the season straw trooper wasn't going to make up for that. Especially because uh, it's budget and you can't like pull it off a Vader or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's fair. It's one of those things when you're running a budget fair. deck, trying to figure out like what the right thing is. Yeah. Because a lot of the cards in the green decks are played because Vader does well with them, mm. right? So it it opened up like a different puzzle yeah. when playing um, the thing because it just it opened up a lot more options. Honestly, like I'm looking forward. There's there's one card that I'm playing that I'm excited to I'll hopefully get down in a game. He often gets resourced, but. I've never seen anyone play him in a deck. Mm. How are you doing with your camera? It is having issues charging. We are fiddling around with it. You might have to take a pause for a second. Whilst this gets going again. Uh, yeah, so this weekend on Saturday, out at, uh, wait a second, which one am I doing this weekend? The Games Arena, isn't it? Gaming Arena, yeah. Yep. The Gaming Arena, I'm judging on Saturday, uh, at their store showdown. I believe that there's still tickets left, so, and this isn't a sponsored plug, by the way. This is this is just, like, I, I mean, I guess in a way it sort of is, because I'm their judge for this event. But uh, not really. Like, pop on down, grab yourself a ticket as soon as possible if they're not sold out. And come down to the showdown and try and win yourself some mice windows. Uh, and you never know, you might uh, you might hit one of those uh, sexy, sexy, sexy showcases. Yeah, you <laughs> and your showcase hit off of <laughs> one pack. That was crazy. That was That's... nuts. That's okay. Uh, it only tell them, me at like... Tell them of your yeah. show and tell with your Thrawn. Let's see. How many have we got? And now? all the other. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten showcases. Hell yeah. My Gen Con promos, my judge cards, my two ECL hyperspace foils, my one Tarkin Town. And for those who like Pokemon, I need to get these graded. I really do. I'm sitting here with the Pokemon playmat, if you could see it. I mean, I saw it before, before your camera went, <laughs> you know. So, so that's the thing. I just forgot to re-plug in my charger, and now it's like, just... And now you just... It's like the, the fast stream. Uh, it's my first time, you know. <laughs> first time, first time streamer. We're, we're having teething issues. I, I, you know, I was bringing my PG words, so I'm not going to elaborate on that. I believe the word you're looking for is fuck. <laughs> This is a whole section I'm going to have to cut out on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. It's because there ain't nothing going on right now. Have you been uh, keeping up with the spoilers? I have not, actually. They are. Uh, they're, they're not great. <laughs> I mean, some of them are pretty good, but some of them not great. Like... When I look at it, like, quite frankly, clones don't look as good as Mandalorians. That could change. Mm. That could change. But from what I'm seeing now, Mandalorian is, you know, looking better. But, I mean, both of the leaders aren't too strong. Um, I feel like... 
if I'm playing red heroism, like mid range, I'm probably going to be using Cassian, and nobody uses Cassian. So you know. Come on. Just join, please, game. Please. All right. We're rescanning. It terrifies me that this is still sitting at 1% while doing this. <laughs> Your phone is at 1%? It was at 70% when I had it earlier. Apparently just sitting on camera drains its battery so freaking fast. I was not prepared for this. What have you got running in the background of your phone? I have no idea, but that was crazy. I mean, it is like a very high-powered camera, so maybe it's like legitimately the... Camera having. I mean, not like sure, I'm using but... the front camera. I'm using like the the thirty megapixel whatever crazy thing. Maybe don't use the super high powered camera. That involves flipping over my phone, and I can't see the top of it. Um. Okay. Let's see if I can get my. Uh... Because I don't know which back camera mine is using, but it looks fine. I know it could be an issue with my charger, I have no idea. I'll have to play around with chargers and find out. I guess the question is what have you got it charging from? A Samsung charger USB to USB C. And that's probably why it's not. Yeah. It might not be. Like, I'm assuming that what you mean is that it's in a. a I reckon, a I reckon the cable. The... Yeah, it's in a USB C port, but it might yeah. be um, an issue with the. Oh, no, it's not in the computer. It's connected to the oh, fast charger. Oh, okay. Now it's making me log in again. Thank you, wizards. Can I get QR code? Thank you. Hey, look at that, you're finally back. Oh, look at that. We're back. Get this thing balancing and tape it down. So, where were we? You had the initiative. I have the initiative. I think uh, we're up to an turn. Actually, I had just. I played the thing, I got two damage, you attacked me, I took initiative. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're back, let's uh... Alright, so, I back into the, the... Whatever the draw phase is called. 
Uh, am I going to face down? That is the question. Yes. Sure. Okay. All right. You have the initiative. I haven't resourced. Just deciding. Um. I'm gonna resource this. Oh. Let's see. Uh. Rook is at three health. Uh, yes. Uh, four health. Four health. Four health. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna resource this. Okay. Mhm. Mm Two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, it's rook non-legate units. Uh, that's a good question. One second. Uh, when it deals combat damage to a non-leader unit while attacking, defeat that unit. Okay, cool. I will play Traitorous on your uh, Snow Trooper Lieutenant. Oh your no. Your Snow Trooper Lieutenant is mine. Yep. Turn it upside down, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's... I'll go grab... I can go grab a, a <laughs> Snow Trooper Lieutenant, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the the question is, what am I? It's always the question. Um, feel like uh, I'm gonna run rook into your base. I'll take three. We're both on seventeen. I'll flip up Vader. Mm -hmm. And what does Vader do again? Uh, Vader is a 5-8. On attack, deal, you may deal 2 damage to a unit. Right. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm 5-8 isn't fun. Cost. He's very fun. Vader's just a fun loving guy. Definitely not a fun loving guy. Uh, Sublock Guard. Um, okay. Uh, I will attack your base for four with Ruthless Raider. Yep. Um, <laughs> I like Vader being on the board, but at the same time, how big is Vader again? Five eight. Five eight. It's huge. He's I have trunk, not. Yeah. No, I have not played this as effectively so, as I should have. When I when I was looking at what leader to do as a budget leader, Vader came up time and time again because essentially he's, he's a win condition on his on his own, mm -hmm. and. He doesn't need synergy to perform what he does. He just basically does what he does out of the box. Yeah. Uh, I am going to... Good question, isn't it? Um, when he attacks, he does two damage to whatever the hell he wants. Um, so if I do Rook damage... You leave him on two health, you'll be able to crash through both. <sighs> Doesn't sound good either. Um, if I don't, you can shoot Rook, kill the guard, and then smash my own unit into Rook to kill him. 
I also feel like I'm at an impasse. Nothing I do feels good, that's gonna be honest. Um... I mean, I feel like... I'm gonna pass. Alright, I am going to... Attack Cell Block Guard with Darth Vader and deal two to Rook. Yep. So Blocky and dies. Rookie takes two. Um, I am going to five. I'm going to play seventh sister. Oh, nice. Uh, Snowtrooper Lieutenant will swing into Rook and kill it. Yep. Rook has become. A rookie. Oh, oh, oh. How many resources do you have open at the moment? Two currently. Mm, I don't like that. Uh, I'm going to use Inquisitor's ability. Two damage on the sister and untapper. I'm going to claim initiative. Sure. Um, I am going to. Uh, let's play it. Yeah, cool. Uh, I'm going to crash Seven Sister into your base and deal three damage to Vader. Uh, yep. Vader goes to six damage and I take three. Alright. 14 health left. Yep, and then I'll pass. Alright. I'm not going to face down anything. Um, I am just downloading a card. Uh, I've got initiative. Yep. I will start by playing Emperor of Palpatine and killing off the Seventh Sister. Uh, I don't know. I haven't I drawn any of my fun pieces. I, I, I limited it to one Emperor of Palpatine because Emperor of Palpatine comes in the starting deck and it's kind of nice to use the mm -hmm. cards in there, so... Again, this was a choice. That was either that slot was either a third traitorous or Emperor Palpatine, and I I think they're both equally good. That's the third Cooper. traitors getting a bit much. Nice. Uh, I will swing base for five with Vader and kill the Death Star Stormtrooper. Yep. What are the stats on Palpy at the moment? He's a 6-6 six, six with Overwhelm. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, hmm. I feel like I'm in a bad, bad position right now. <clears throat> I'm in danger. I mean, it, it pretty much comes down to not drawing well and resourcing totally ineffectively. Um, and not being able to keep a force unit on the board has been kind of problematic as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I guess... Ah, oh, that snow trooper's in your graveyard. Yeah, so it is. And that seems for me to worry about. I'm going to bring out another Rook. Oh, there he is. Guess who's back. Um, I'm going to swing base for four. With? Our Ruthless Raider. Thank you. Because I'm pretty much dead at this point. Uh, I can see. All right. Game two. One... Win for the budget deck. Would you like to sideboard? No. Nah. We discussed this earlier. No sideboards. Yeah. I didn't make one for this deck. I figured... The whole thing was, like... 
Cyborgs are something that, like, it's all about your local meta. Yeah, exactly. I don't like it that the deck list like includes Cyborgs, so people just make them and they don't really know how to use them. I mean, I get it, like, but it's just uh, like so many. That, that's why I really don't like talking about sideboards when I'm doing videos either. Like even back when I was doing competitive magic, because it's just like, well, I can tell you how to sideboard against X deck, but I don't even know if that's in your meta. So yeah, exactly. It's like, well, you have to be a judge of what's meta and what actually plays, what cards play against that strategy in your deck. It's like part of learning the deck, but you learn that from playing it, right? Yeah. The things you have trouble with, and then you branch out. I think sideboards are one of those things you kind of have to explore for yourself. Because mm. often I find, like, even if the main deck's cookie cutter, the sideboards are, like, wildly different to every single tournament I play in. Pretty much. You've got the initiative. Yeah, just working that one out. Just don't know how much I really like this version. Because at the moment, I'm just looking at it going like, I I don't like playing resupply and super laser tech in the same deck. And people think that that's weird, but it's just like you're taking a full turn off to play a resupply. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yes, you're ramping, but you're taking a full turn off to do that ramp. And it's not necessarily the best thing. All right. I think the argument... So the, the argument for... Have you resourced yet? Uh, no, I'm doing it. So this sucks. This just sucks. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna mulligan this. Mm -hmm. This is so bad. Two eight drops. I don't want to resource them. Sometimes, even if I have a hand that plays in the early game, I like I'll mulligan anyway so that I can find something. Like, if I'm getting rid of two egg drops from the deck, it's like, hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, like, all right, even if I get to late game, it's going to start to suck. <laughs> oh, nice. That's much better. All right. Um, resource this. And we just do this. All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, Death Star Stormtrooper. All right. I'll play TIE Fighter. Mm hmm. Death Star Stormtrooper. Hmm. I'll use Vader and I'll ping a Death Star Stormtrooper and yep. do one to base. Don't forget to reset. Life totals, yeah. yeah. I'm back up to 30. I will take the initiative. I will pass. Huh? I made resourcing that one easy this time. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, I am ready. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I'm not ready. Wait, why did I say I'm ready? I, I haven't resourced, apparently. I thought I'd resourced. Uh, resource this. Okay. I'm ready now. All right. I'm going to stack three into base. I'll take three. Um, I'm going to pay three. I'm going to play a fifth brother. Oof. That's not something I want to see coming from you. 
I'm going to pay three, and I'm going to play Super Laser Tech. I am going to swing base for two. Yep. I'm going to... Hmm. What am I going to do? That is the question. You should kill your own super laser tech and then put out another stormtrooper. No. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> uh, I'll take the initiative. Alright, I'll pass. Alright. Hmm. That's none of that's what we want to see, to be honest. Um, 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 I think we're just going to pop that one down, to be honest. Run it from there. Sounds that sounds fine. You knew it wasn't fine at all. Um, this is fine. Because fifth fifth brother's gonna ping something as well. It's just frustrating. There's nowhere to keep stuff on the board that I need. That I need. So many pings. Just Amazing. The most annoying of so pings. happy. The most annoying <laughs> pings. Um. I'm going to crash Death Star Stormtrooper into Fifth Brother for three. Yep. You will put him on one. Yep. And then I have decisions to make. Yep. I will attack base for five and choose not to ping. That's fine. That's fine. Um... What was I planning on doing here is the question. Uh, yeah, I'm going to crash into fifth brother. He did. Wrapped in plastic. Rest in pieces. I'm going to play a Death Star Stormtrooper. Ooh. How many resources you got left? Three. How many things I need to worry about, though? Alright, guess we're just going to have to bite the bullet. Fifth brother? Um, I will force choke your fifth brother. Of course you will. Deals five, right? Yeah, it deals five and you draw one. Yeah. That little that back, a terrifying I? unit when that hits the great, hits the field. <laughs> I think was you the... know, I think that that's the problem with this. I think running the force chokes would be better than the force throws. I understand why the force throws is in here, but I think the chokes are actually better removal. Well, Feel Grand like... Inquisitor is not good at making his units stick, right? He's good at using their He's good at using the their abilities. Once, and... they, once they've stuck. Yeah, exactly. So Force Choke just seems better at making things stick rather than... Mm -hmm. uh, I will take the initiative. Got nothing better to do. Um, I'll swing base for two and I'll play another Death Star Stormtrooper. Yep. And pass. <sighs> uh, I am going to use my epic. I have nothing better to do.
It's on attack, he can deal one damage to his own unit and ready it, right? That's the text. Mm. On attack, he can deal one damage to another friendly unit with three or less power and ready it. Alright, I'm gonna play a Fallen Lightsaber on a Death Star Stormtrooper. Uh huh. Making him a 6 4. A 6 4, you say? Yes. Isn't that lucky that I've got an overwhelming garage waiting for it? Yeah. So. Sir. We'll do a Sorry. four to that and one to the other. Uh, Stormtrooper or TIE Fighter? Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper. I will swing base for two. Yep. Oh, sorry. I've only branched the ego. Great. Uh, I'm going to swing on your base for five. Take five. Come to twenty-two. Mhm. All right, big turn. And because of the fluff up and an overwhelming barrage. Nice. Okay. So what what are you doing? I am claiming initiative. All right. Done and done. <sighs> Look at all that stuff that we need. Bring it now. Uh, what am I going to face down? That's the question. Probably. That seems fine. I am thinking. Okay. Uh, I am going to start by using Force Choke and dealing 5 damage to, um, Inquisitor, to my boy. and you draw a card. Yep. That's not what you want to see. That's not it at all. That makes me sad. Um... Whew. Guess I'll just swing on base for 3. Take three, go to 19, and then I will ping with Vader, one and one to base. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think I will pass. Let's see I what will... you've got. I will play a fifth brother, Ooh, and yeah. I will swing base for two. I only passed. I didn't take initiative. Oh, sorry. I'll play fifth <laughs> brother. Uh, I'll go three, four, five, six, seven. Man, the myth, the legend. Let's go. I right. only play a Vader, and it's been so long. Ten cards. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And ten. All right. The total cost of what? Three. Mine cost of three or less. Okay. Let's see here. Oh. Uh huh. I mean that's funny. Um. Guess gonna have to be a fifth brother, isn't it? Of course it is. Uh, other cards included. Consortium Viper, Force Throw, Super Laser Tech, Resupply, Cell Block Guard, Fifth Brother, Seventh Sister, Overwhelming Garage, and Admiral Ozel. Ozel. I haven't actually seen in this damn matchup! Uh, and I'm going to smack the crap out of your Fifth Brother with my good old ambush. Whoops. Two. <laughs> Ooh. Cool. I'm gonna swing base for two. Two. Um. I am going to take the initiative. I'll pass. All right. Sadness. 
So much sadness. <sighs> well, well, I'm in danger. I mean, it's... It's possible that you're in danger. Possible. Maybe. 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 Maybe a little bit. Um. How many resources you want? Seven. Okay. So I don't need to worry about Palpatine yet. Do you need to worry about Vader? All right. So I'm going to swing your base for two. Take two. See what nastiness you've got. Uh, I'm gonna flip up Vader. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> to give the target or not give the target? That is the question. With Vader of 5-8? Yep. <sighs> um... Uh... doesn't it? Like, how am I supposed to deal with Big Baddy, Big big Bad Daddy from here? Like, that's the question. Because on one hand, possibly I'm just going to take a lot of damage. On the other hand, I really need to deal with Vader. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for base. Uh, I'll swing five at base with Vader. I go to 12. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to play Admiral Piet. Um, he says each friendly non-leader unit that costs six or more gains ambush. <laughs> I have no cards in hand, though. That's fine. How much health does he have? Four health. Hmm. Here's a 1 4. 3, 6, 8. Don't you bet that my palps is late. Um, I'm going to deal 4 damage to your Admiral and 2 damage to your Vader. Or 2 damage to your ship, actually. No, the ships are 2 1, isn't one, it? 1 to ship and 1 to Vader? Yeah. Alright. Spread that uh, all around. Oof. Uh, that's definitely something. Uh, how much do you have on board? Enough to kill me right now. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, six, eleven. You do. You have one over. Thirteen. Yep. One over plus an inquisitor thing. So. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attack uh, uh, fifth brother for five. I'm going to yep. deal two, uh, two, plus decision. This is based on my next draws. Um... I think the correct thing here is to actually ping Vader and put it on two. So it dies. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do two to Vader. Yep. Which will put it on a three left. Yep. I'll take the and initiative. I will... Um... Oh, I can't ping, of course. Uh, Vader's out. Yep. I will pass. Yep.
I will not face down anything. Yep. I definitely pinged the wrong thing. I should have killed ping to Palpatine. Yep. So I should have gone. Definitely. Hmm. You're on 12 at the moment. Yes, you got 11 on board. Yeah, but it doesn't mean the 11's going to do the job. Not yet. Sadly. Yeah. Unlimited power. <laughs> Unlimited um... power. TMNT power? Yes. Um, Vader's going to swing on base for five. Um, I'm going to take five to base, and then I'm going to swing Palpatine and kill Palpatine with the ping. Swing Palpatine and kill Vader with the ping? I can't kill Vader with the ping. Oh, because it's a little? Sorry, just one sec. I'm, I'm doing confused. my health. Just wait. I took five. I'm now on seven. Mm -hmm. So I attack, I attack Palpatine for five and then ping it for two. To right. Kill Palpatine. Okay, sure. And pinging two doesn't, won't kill Vader. Ah, oh, right. I see. Because I didn't have the ping at the end of last turn because he wasn't in the commands. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, yep. So he's on three. Hmm. Um, I will... It's still my turn. You just attacked. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. I want, but I want all the turns. You can't have all magic. the turns. I'm a magic player. It's my turn. Three, five, Rook. With a oh. shield counter. There we go. <laughs> yep. All right, that does it, but I am going to show you what I have. I've got the seventh sister, which yeah. you just uh, ping and then kill. Well, uh, I was holding Vader, Cell Block Guard, oh. Season Shore Trooper, Interceptor, and a shitty. Resistor. I was waiting to see a Cell Block Guard for my yeah. trader is. That's why I, I didn't play it. Yep. Because I was like, mm, we're at the point now where smaller units probably not the better. Bigger units yep. definitely pushing through. Absolutely. Nice. All right. That's one Game more. three. Yep. Yeah. Get to reset your health up to 30. Is there actually a reset button or do I just spam the button? Just spam the button. There is a reset button that will reset you to 40. Oh. I mean, you can also click into the square where your health actually is. But, you know. I don't have a keyboard in front of me. It's... Exactly. Far oh, be it for me to give you keyboard key keyboard shortcuts without a keyboard. Yeah. It'd be nice if I could just gesture in the window. <laughs> and just go and point up here or something. I just go just like click the thirty health button. It's weird, I'm sure there was a way to set this so that it like Hmm. There it is, picture to picture. Uh huh. All right, give me a second. Because now, when we press, well, when I press spacebar, I guess, um, it's going to transfer between. But what I need to do. Yes. Go around with it. Now, see if I can. Oh, come on. Stupid spool table. Pool table. 
copy spell tables. Like I'm being a kitten, that's what I'm doing. One of the things I noticed about green and red is that they just don't have very good access to space units. Uh, I've got space units in here, I just chose not to play them. Yeah, just not like great ones, you know. Not like, a, yeah. you know, A-Wing or something, green A-Wing or whatever. Like, you know, the or Inferno 4 or... Like, there's just some really good space units in other colors. I know what you're talking about. It's not like a premium. It feels like you're playing like, you know, the B tier unit, which is like good. It's solid. Mm hmm. All right. How do all my opponents always seem to have overwhelming barrages when they need them, and I can never find one? Hey, you had an overwhelming barrage exactly when you needed it last year. Yeah, only one though, I need another one. <laughs> I'll take three overwhelming. I actually resourced an overwhelming barrage because I needed to kill M during uh, yeah, your Inquisitor. Okay. What do we do with this hand? Uh, I think we throw this one back. This card is one of the main cards uh, cards in the deck, but I haven't gotten to play it. I'm not going to get to play it. This is Recruit. Mm -hmm. um, it basically functions as an additional super laser tech and also yeah. makes the deck quite flexible to find its um, eight drops and stuff. And if you just draw them, you draw them and you just resource the card, but it adds flexibility. Since you're leaving one open for mm -hmm. Vader's ping ability anyway, it like just is very natural Fair. to play the card. Ugh, when this when this deck Deals you a bad hand. It really deals you a bad hand. That was what I felt <laughs> when I played Inquisitor. I played Inquisitor Yellow for a bit. Mm -hmm. I was like, like there are some fire hands, and then there's just like I just feel like it's like so bad when yep. it's bad. Well, go for it. All right, I'm gonna start with Tie Fighter. Mm hmm I will take the initiative. Uh I'll play Death Star Stormtrooper. Yep. And I'll pass. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. It's the first. It's the absolute first. I can think of nothing first in this. You ready? Yep. Great. Oh, okay, good three. Consortium Star Viper. Uh -uh. I don't Still think of space things. Consorting it. Star Viper. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll swing base for two. Um, I will use my ability. Untap the Viper. Yep. It's Restore War 2, yeah? Yep. I'll swing base for 3. I'll swing on your base for 3 and Restore 2. Uh-huh. I will play Super Laser Technician. Mm-hmm. I will take the initiative. I'll pass. All right. I think the best thing for me to do, besides move things over a little bit because of all that goddamn glare, uh, I will pay four, and I will play a 3-2 Imperial Interceptor, and bomb your space unit for three. It dead. Pew pews! Um... 
I am going to... What did, how did you heal back up? You should be on 27. Oh, I didn't, um... Mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't mark it. Um... Tap 4. I'm going to play a Tie Advanced. I'm going to pump up my Death Star Stormtrooper with two experience units. Ugh. That's not great for me. Um... I'll swing on your base for three and restore two. I'll take go to twenty six. Twenty four. Uh I'll swing base for five. Yeah, one sec. I reduce my glare at least a little bit. Three, four, five. Hmm. Uh, I'll just take the initiative. I'll swing base for two. And a twenty-two. Did you pass after that? Yep. Great. So it's quite a nice big cell block guard you've got there. It's, it's, it's so big. It'd be a shame if someone was to kill it. It'd be a shame if somebody tried to traitor us it, maybe. Sure would. I feel like you'd probably traitor us it back, to be honest. Perhaps. And I also feel like I've got to do it. Do I? Do I? Do I really? <sighs> I got the tie, I can start healing through. Try and take that. I mean, it's a 5 5. That's really big. Really nasty. 5 3. Oh, it's a 5-3. It's not a cell block guard, then. It's a... It's the other one. Okay. Death Storm Trooper or whatever. Me. Yeah. Okay. So... Hmm. So how big is your TIE Fighter? 3-2. Okay. So... Let's pay five. Let's play an overwhelming barrage using my consortium star viper. Yep. What are you hitting? Yeah, let me just move it so that people can see it. Um, so we'll do three damage to the Death Star Stormtrooper and two uh -huh. damage to your TIE Fighter. Uh huh. Uh, how much health does it have? Sorry, let's go back a second. You told me it was a five three. It's uh, not a it five three. Dead. It is. It is dead. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say it is dead. I'm still Cause, processing. Cause I was my, doing that my little so smooth that I could brain, <laughs> my little smooth brain was uh, struggling. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to tap five, and I'm going to bombing run and hit your space for three. Uh, yep. Yeah. No, I have to process stuff. They're both dead, aren't they? Yep. Just, uh, wiping out my space units. Like they didn't exist in the first place. Or something dumb. Um, all tapped out. Uh, I'll take the initiative. I'll swing base for two. Why is your camera glitching now? Is it? Yep. Oh, it is a little slow, isn't it? Before it was like, it's like doing it's working this. again. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, good. All right, sing for two. Yeah, is that the two that I just took? Yes. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I was like, well, sorry, okay. I, I went back because you complained about the camera glitching. Damn right, I complained about the camera glitching. 
Um, I've taken the initiative. Uh, yep, yeah, I'll pass. Ooh. Hmm, what am I going to face down? Probably that. I haven't played a single damn resupply. Again, just not, not a fan. They just don't seem to work for me. I, I resourced my resupply as well. Mm -hmm. Tempo just feels so much better in this matchup than ramping. I just stop. Yeah. Seems just so much more important. Speaking of, and this is going to be. Oh, do I want to do that? That doesn't seem good enough. I mean, it could be, though. It's hilarious. But is it hilarious? And... <sighs> I do it just because it's fun. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh no! Traitorous. That's not fun. That is not fun. Thanks for that the super laser That is busted. Tech. That's what. It, that's what it is. <laughs> well, that blows my plans out of the, out of the board. I'll uh, take initiative. <laughs> Sure. In fact, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I was take I was swinging at your base for two with your slash my super laser tech. <laughs> okay. Ow. And then I will use my ability and I'll blow it up. <sighs> and I'll grain the resource. <laughs> yes, you will. Go get another card to put as a resource. Oh, it doesn't matter. I just use the traitorous. Yeah, sure. Like, there's nothing in here that digs that out of my, um... Out of my oh, not playing Ray so. Stock. All right, all right, all right. No. <laughs> Definitely not one of those people. In information. <laughs> um, okay. I, I think that's, uh, that's looking... Oh. Yeah, no, that's pass, pass. I'm going to put that one face down. Three, six, seven, eight. Get all my resources. Look at them all. So pretty. All right. I will start by flipping up Vader. Yep. How can I match or exceed that fun? That is absolutely the question. Hmm. Three, six, eight. Uh, I'm going to help some shoot Vader for a full six. Okay. I will play Fallen Lightsaber on Vader. Ooh. That's that's very big Vader. How big is he now? Um currently he is an eight five. Including damage. Including damage? Yep. Yeah. Um I will Guess I'll just take the initiative. What am I gonna uh, do? I'll I'll swing base for eight. Uh, when I do so, I'll do three to Palpatine because full and lightsaber triggers, and so is the on attack. Five, seven, and eight. Um, and three to Palps. Yep. Let's go, Dad. Bring him home. That's a pass from you, then, is it? Let's pass. All right. One, two. Uh, I think I'm just going to play that one face down. Hmm. You breathe on Palps at this point, he's going to fall over dead. Um, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, 
Are we? Yeah, I think I have to, don't I? I mean... I mean, I could just crash into Vader, right? Do a wonder base. Yep. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to crash into Vader and do a wonder base. Alright. Vader's back face down. And took the wonder uh, base, yeah? And wonder... Sorry, it's so hard. I keep forgetting that it's over here on my other screen. There we go. Thanks for reminding me. Mm -hmm. Um, one, two, three, four. Play eight. I'll play a reinforcement walker. Ooh. I will look at the top card of my deck. I will. Choose. Uh, I'm going to get rid of it to resupply, mm -hmm. and I will gain three health. Okay. okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, seventh sister. Yep. I'll claim initiative. Yep. Um, I am going to use my ability to ping my seventh sister and awaken her. Yep. Oh, that's a miscalculation, but that's fine. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to swing on your base. And deal three okay, damage three. to your walker. Yep. I've claimed. Mm-hmm, I know. Yep. I'm going to pay three, and I'm going to play Super Laser Tech. And then I'm going to pass. Alright. Does Traitorous let you keep the Super Laser Tech? Thought they would get it back when it died. No, you get to keep it. To all about the layering. It's pretty dumb and it doesn't make sense, but yeah. It was clarified on the judges Facebook group as well as the main Star Wars um unlimited Facebook group, the USA one. Because it was asked like several times and then it was broken down piece by piece of like you steal it, um, and then it gets killed, but because it's under your control and it gets killed regardless of the layering, you actually get the resource, not your opponent because it doesn't go back under your opponent's control as it hits the discard pile. Um, so when it when it looks at resolving, it goes, am I dead? Yes. And then it goes, who am I currently being controlled by, not who am I being owned by? Yeah. You always refer to the controlling player. Yeah. Which, again, kind of dumb, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty dumb. Two ways tax a good card regardless. Um, deciding what to do, I'm pretty sure I am tapping eight. I'm going to play an Emperor Palpatine. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to kill your seventh sister and your super laser tech. Ooh. Thank you. Okay. Always like getting additional resources. <laughs> It doesn't ever feel bad losing a laser tag. It's like, oh, I played three to ramp. Doesn't it, though? Right. Doesn't it? Ah, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Do we want to do this? I'm going to leave us with four. But if we wake and you get killed by palps. Um. Is there anything else we can do that might be better? <sighs> How much health does Reinforcement Walker have left? Six. Six. 
Well, that doesn't help, does it? And how much attack does it have? Six. Oh, that doesn't help. Ah, oh, six, six, hey. And you said that it has six health left? Yes. Take out big butts. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to actually deal with said big butt. I mean, I don't think either thing that I do here is going to be good. But I've kind of put myself in this hole, so I don't feel like I have a whole lot of choice. Ah, oh, but if we do that, then you might just traitor us whatever I get. Um, I do only have one open at the moment. I I understand this. You also have a force unit out, so, you know. Who knows True. what you might do. Who knows? Um, there might be a card that costs one of the force unit. Exactly. Good. Uh, Palpy's tapped, so I don't really need to worry that much about Palpy yet. So let's go five, and let's play the bait of Seventh Sister. Neat. Um, I will, in fact, force choke Seventh Sister, putting her on one. What a surprise. What a surprise. Get to draw another card. Your hand must be getting pretty full at this point, right? Uh, no, I've been emptying it out pretty well, to be honest. Huh. How many cards are you on? Four cards in hand. Yeah, you're two ahead of me. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Trying to figure out exactly what to do. There should be one help. Okay. So if I do that. Still do that. It's not big enough for that. But that is huh. Not worth it. <laughs> um, Flash Gordon's alive! I'm trying to figure out how to get around Palps, because Palps is just, like, big... You, you, you need a third camera from your hand that is not shown to me, but shown to your stream. Do you have that? Like your third I do. Camera? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Because, trust me, at this point, it it's, doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Um, hmm. Because what I'm trying to figure out is, like, my ideal play, um, because I'm already way down on health, which is never a good thing, um, but also I feel like you've just been kind of like, Able to stop stop my dumb tricks, which makes me real sad. Yeah, like, I mean, I've kind of fo I kind of focused on that aspect though. Mm -hmm. To because Inquisitor can get out of hands so fast, right? Yes, Star Stormtrooper. All right, I am going to swing base for six. And I'm going to look at the top card of my deck, and I'm going to choose to draw said card. Uh-huh. You know, I just realized I just essentially forfeited. Yeah, I'm dead. You're dead? Yeah. Oh, rip. Because there's no way I can come back and, like, take out both of those units. So this is one of the things that's really important about these two units on eight is, and the reason I include them, specifically Reinforcement Walker, but Emperor Palpatine too, 
is that 6-6 six, six is has really good matchups against the Vader. So obviously mm -hmm. everyone's playing because Vader is such an efficient card. Getting yeah. a 5-7 unit. But 6-6 six, six matches up, especially when you've got a Vader that pings for one. Mm -hmm. And can just remove the unit. So like being one less in damage to kill a unit is absolutely fine in this deck. But yeah, living I'm... with one HP is like so significant. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the time there, that extra one ping of damage was actually the thing that was letting you power through. Yeah, because I was like, I can put you, if I can put your, even if I can put you on, um, like, a card on two health, it mm -hmm. just shuts down the Inquisitor ability, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, and I mean, that game I didn't get Inquisitor out because it, I was looking at the board and it's like, every time I wanted to get Inquisitor out, he's just too slow for what's on the board. Yep, there's Which something is, to answer it. Yeah. So that, so, um... Now, yeah, that if, was basically if, the, if, the hang on, hang on. If I was playing the control version of this deck, though, that would have been a completely different matter. Because the control version doesn't mind sacrificing units to get you under the five health so that I can just take things out or making you sacrifice stuff. Like, it, it has no qualms with, you know, basically sacrificing itself to get an edge, which is technically what Grand Inquisitor really, like, well, what all of those Sith characters do, right? Doesn't matter what they do, yeah. they're going to try and sacrifice whatever they need to to get an edge. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, we are done. That was uh, budget deck wins. Budget eh? deck wins. Let's go. Less than eighty dollars, baby. Yep. And this is one of the points that I was trying to point out about this in this particular type of matchup as well, is that. You don't have to run all of the super expensive cards because at the end of the day, the thing that's going to make you win is, is A, knowing how to play obvious hurt. That's always a big thing. Um, but B, is actually your card choice. You don't need Vader's to play. I mean, Sabine has shown that. You don't need legendary cards in your deck to win. That... that... The thing is, as soon as I pulled, like, I removed the thinking, right? I've got all the cards to play everything, right? It doesn't matter. Like, I, but I, this deck was like, as soon as I removed from those Vaders from the deck, it's, it opened up so much space to pick up that lacking power level. Mm -hmm. Like, there was so much design space because Vader basically demands that you have six cards, six to nine cards in the deck that are good to hit with Vader. Exactly. Hit it. Yeah, it, it's just, and that's the reason why I wanted to run this, like, you know, budget versus meta, is to show people, like, hey, you know, just because you're running a meta deck doesn't mean it's always the best deck. Yeah, for sure. Like, I'm keen to do more of these, because I love exploring the design space of this game. This design space is, like, so big. Absolutely. Honestly. Absolutely. Even in set one, I just feel so free with deck building. Mm -hmm. It's nice. So nice. Yeah. Now, if you're watching the VOD of this on YouTube, suggest a leader for Corey to build around. Oh. Oh, all right. <laughs> I better get in those comments. Yeah. Um, the one thing I won't be playing against you ever is the control decks, because the super control decks, the super laser blast ones, and the mill decks, shh, it's fucking boring. It's so fucking boring. It's boring. It's a coin flip. It's just, like okay. I never want to play this. Did, did I? Did I go? Did I go under you? No. Okay, I lose. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Did I flip heads? No. Oh damn it. Okay. That I. There are cards that I. There are budget decks that I would play to pilot into that meta. Mm -hmm. But that is really not the meta at the moment. Like, there is the, obviously, the Vader Blue, which is defining a lot of the meta because it's kicked out Boba. Mm -hmm. But the, yeah. I mean, I mean even I'll then... still, I, I'll still build my decks with control in mind. Like, I have top end, mm. right? I so... will argue it didn't kick out Boba. Boba just is another top eight deck. Okay, it didn't kick out Boba. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. It didn't kick out Boba. But it's Rez, the, first, Rez, it's the no. first. No one's building IG88. That doesn't count. I'm gonna nix that. 
Hey, hey, hey. All right, all right. Set two or set three. We'll see. I will bring an IG-88 thick before it is, before it becomes metal, all right? Because <laughs> I, I actually, I actually believe in IG-88, and I think that there is, it is lacking in card pool right now. Because <laughs> there is no uh, efficient way to swarm right now. Correct. In, in saying that, um, so Hera, huh? Yeah, Hera. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look let, let me cook. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody was saying that they had a really, really solid Hera deck. I I got hmm. I got destroyed by a Hera in the last tournament. I got absolutely pantsed by it. It was so bad, and it was. It was um, it was a deck that really hit well into the meta of the tournament as well. Yeah, and like it had a couple of rough rounds at the start, but then it like it like went zero two. It went like one two one two, and then it like toed the last three matches. Yeah, and that's it. Somebody was asking me like how I didn't top eight with Leia Red, and I said I just ran into like the matchups that I didn't want to see, and it's gonna happen. And it happened to me like over the whole weekend. Been a minute again. Yeah, it was a really very long. coin. It was a very coin flippy rock paper scissors a uh, couple of tournaments in a row. Yeah, like it much. was. There's no like <laughs> nice deck at the moment that has like really smooth like fifty five percent matchups across the board or something. You know, yeah. that's all about how you pilot it and stuff. Like, there's always these matchups that have like big holes in them. Yeah, and... exactly. That's a real deck building challenge with the small card pool to hedge those other matchups. Yeah. I mean, and again, like, yeah, I just think that there is, like, there's a lot of people at the moment who want to build around, like, particular, uh, particular leaders that just aren't good and they're trying to make them good. Hera is not one. Oh, um, Hera is did you want to pay? Do you want to post the deck list? No. 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 My deck list? No? Okay. No. Cool. People can watch the damn video. We'll, we'll post the deck list. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, post it in the description, though. I mean, you'll yeah. just have to send me a link to your deck list. Yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll share it, and we'll put it in the thing of the video. <laughs> it's saying that it's been a very long day, and I need to go to sleep, because work was very long. So thank you very much for everyone for hanging out. Thank you very much, Corey, for coming on and co-hosting this this little bit of excitement. Exciting. I'm excited to be co-host. And we'll, um, as I was saying to, to people on Facebook, if we can find more players for Twin Suns, um, then we definitely want to do some Twin Suns content. Sounds great. I'd be totally down. Exactly. I'm excited to play my Palps Vader. <laughs> I'm excited to play Hera Luke. Exactly. Such a fun deck. All right, everyone. We'll catch you later. Thanks for hanging out. Goodbye.